will see once more taking 2 as center 1 2 as radius marking in continuous arc not a small arc continuous arc taking 3 as center 3 p 1 as radius marking in continuous arc we have obtained point number p2 take 4 as center 4 p2 as radius and mark a continuous arc take 1 as center 1 p3 as radius 1 p3 as radius mark an continuous arc So this is how you can draw your involute, name the curve as involute, give the dimension of a square as side 30 mm. side 30 mm name this point 1 2 3 4 p 1 p 2 p 3 and p 4 so this is how you can draw an involute we'll see our next problem a thin metallic pentagonal plate now when you see a thin metallic pentagonal plate or a disc or anything like this then you can understand that this is the problem of a projection of a plane now over here it has been shown that there is a pentagonal plate of 30 mm side having one of its side resting on HP it is inclined 30 degree to HP and angle with VP is 45 degrees we need to draw its projections now for projections of plane we should consider that it would be consisting of three stages first would be initial stage in which the disc or a plane would be at the rest position second stage would be implementing the HP angle we will implement the HP angle and in the third and final stage we will incorporate HP angle with VP so that we will have a combined look of how the plane will look like when a plane is resting at some angle with HP and VP. Now we in this problem we need to take a pentagonal plate. First of all every projection of a plane or a line problem will start from a XY line itself. xy line itself first of all we will draw a xy line we'll draw a xy line xy line now over here we need to draw a pentagon how we can draw a pentagon we can draw pentagon using three circle method side of pentagon is given as 30 mm so first side would be 30 mm how we can draw using three circle method let's say this a b then 
ए एस सेंटर ए बी एस रेडियस एंड ड्रॉ अ वेरी लाइट सर्कल सेम वे यूजिंग बी एस सेंटर ए बी एस रेडियस एंड ड्रॉ अ सर्कल वेर दिस बोथ पॉइंट इंटरसेक्ट इन द बॉटम पॉइंट फ्रॉम देट टेक थर्ड सर्कल लाइक दिस दिस वुड बी द बाइसेक्टर लाइन ऑफ एनी सर्कल वेर बोथ दिस टू सर्कल्स हैव बीन इंटरसेक्टिंग ड्रॉ अ वेरी लाइट लाइन फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट In this paper itself, we will see in brief about drawing a three-circle method pentagon. So, if you are not getting it over here, then you can have a brief idea at that question. We have got the exact points. You can also draw pentagon in this kind of situation by dividing three sixty. by number of side and you will get your outside angle by which by taking that angle you can draw any pentagon or any sort of polygon very easily now taking bc as radius marking an arc so i have got the pentagonal disc over here a b c d e i have got this pentagonal disc this is our stage 1 initial position some of you might wondering that in this question paper it has been asked that one of its side is resting on hp then why we have drawn this pentagonal disc lying on on the rest position because when it is been asked that any line is resting on hp then that line would be perpendicular to the xy line so that at the end of the stage 3 you will have that line resting on the hp itself you will see at the end of the example that one of the line will be resting on the hp itself now taking the projections towards the xy line taking the projections towards the xy line we have got the projections like this 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 would be considered as vertical plane so hp component would be denoted by dash a dash b dash c dash e dash and d dash this is a stage 1 now we will switch to the stage 2 this is this was a stage 1 now what i said you in the starting of this problem in stage 2 will incorporate the hp angle what is the hp angle given in the problem it has been given 30 degrees i am marking any random point on the xy line i am marking any random point on the xy line drawing a light reference line at 30 degrees angle drawing a very light reference line at 30 degrees angle 
this angle is 30 degrees 30 degrees angle now I need to switch this line inclined over here so what I will do taking arc of a dash to c dash marking an arc c dash to d dash marking an arc we'll see how a dash to c dash marking an arc like this c dash to d dash marking an arc like this so finally we'll have a line like this A dash B dash C dash E dash and D dash will have some line like this take vertical projection towards the below of the XY line take it very perpendicularly so that error can be avoided now take horizontal projections take horizontal projections now take on the horizontal projections now join the appropriate a dash to a line b dash to b line c dash to c line e dash to e line and d dash to d line we have got five points we can join those points so that we can see that if this pentagonal plate tilted 30 degree to HP angle then how it will be looking like this pentagonal plate will look like this if it is tilted to 30 degrees to the HP it will be shrinking if you see total over here then it would be very lesser as it has been shrinked now we will proceed further to the stage 3 of a problem what I have start in starting of the problem in stage 3 we will incorporate the HP angle with the VP angle as well what is the VP angle given VP angle is given as 45 degrees we have considered this lower plane as VP and upper plane as HP so I have marked a random point on XY line drawing a line at 45 degrees for a reference 45 degrees line for a reference drawn a reference line now I need a replica of this stage 2 over here this line is at 45 degrees I need replica of this over here so what I am going to do I will randomly choose point A so that I can take radius of AB I chosen the so that I have got two point A and B straight away. Now I will take this bisector line as radius A as center marking an arc. After marking an arc I will draw a perpendicular line from this point and draw a 
perpendicular line now from the bisecting point I have got this distance till the uppermost point mark the point I have got the point D now take DE and DC as radius drawing an arc taking D as center D E is also same and D C is also same. Drawing arc taking A E as radius, A as center and B as center so that we can get the intersecting arc with each other we have got C and E joining them will get us our stage 2 replica tilting at 45 degrees like this Our stage 2 replica is tilting at 45 degrees like this. Now we will take the vertical projections of this 45 degree tilted stage 2 replica upwards. What is the importance of giving nomenclature? Because by giving the name properly, you just need to match name by name only. So over here, I will match with this 30 degree line so that we can incorporate HP and VP. We have got the projections between the same. I will match A to A dash, B to B dash. C to C dash E to E dash and D to D dash 